of the jump out of Markowski, like you just said, but Illinois is going to try to look a little more big to start to try to match Markowski's physicality because in Indi against Indiana. Active on the glass, and the rebounding by committee has hurt Illinois this season. A three from the wing, and that's good. Second chance points right there as that one comes from Isabel Bourne. Absolutely, and she has definitely been a difference maker for the Illini this season. She has been a great freshman for this team. Shelly driving inside off the screen from Bourne. Jazz Shelly driving inside, kicks it back out. Bourne's turn to drive inside, and a nice move. Beautiful offhand layup there by Bourne. She needs to have a big one for the Illini to possibly get an upset here. Catch and shoot from Aliyah Nye is good, and Aliyah Nye gets the scoring started for Illinois. And once again, Nebraska struggled a bit on the catch and shoot. Speaking of which, catch and shoot from Bourne, and that's good. Nebraska struggled a bit on the catch and shoot on defense. The Australian has it at the top of the key. Trying to go inside, kicks it back out. Hybe driving in. Once again, not, to get, not afraid to get physical on the drive, and that pays off. Ended up transferring, as you mentioned, from Oregon to Nebraska. Bostic for three. That doesn't go. Great rebounding inside from Demila Brown. What a nice move inside. And that's exactly what Illinois needs from Nebraska. Absolutely. Demila Brown is one of the more physical guards in the Big Ten, and she is such a big influence maker for the Illini, as we just saw right there course being in the starting role she misses that one being in the starting role a lot for Illinois nice transition inside Jazz Shelley finds the cutting Widener not only clean up their play but take advantage of the great defense there from Bourne on Peebles the Mila Brown trying to drive great defense from Widener but Brown is able to get the shot nonetheless already I'll rebound them on the offensive end great give and go there but that doesn't go and a nice rebound inside. Bella Craven, she has done pretty well. Which is a very good sign for the Illini because the Huskers love their interior play, as we just saw right there with Cravens. And a bad foul by Anastasia. It's something you can't let your players get too frustrated over. Nice interior movement from McKenzie off the pass from Brown. And Adalia McKenzie. Not a good shot selection, indeed. Good ball movement here by Nebraska. And that one goes from Hyvie. Great perimeter defense from Nebraska. They're trying to find Porter inside, but they can't. Now Adalia McKenzie come, calls her over to set a screen. A pick and roll, and the basket counts. So they've managed to feed off of each other quite well here in this game. Shelly a three from the wing. That's her spot, and she gets it. And you know, if you leave her wide open, more than likely she's probably not going to miss that shot. Two. Two easiest shots to be missing. Erica Porter has got to take advantage of that better. Scoggin faked the three and then made a nice move to drive inside. Now a 19 point lead and a timeout Illinois. So th those are two different strategies as we see the move inside from Scoggin right there. Not good defense. Eight inch height difference between the two. And a three doesn't go from the corner from Shelly. She's been taking a lot more threes. Usually she makes that wide open three, but instead she took two after the offensive rebound. Yet another one for the Huskers. And Ali and I off the handoff pace, but you're down 19. You got to chip into it. And a nice move inside, and it's Nebraska getting the bounces. Hook shot from Isabel Bourne goes. Trying to go inside to Cravens. Great off ball movement from Hybe, and that three goes. Great off ball movement right there from Hybe. Cravens at the top of the key, finds Moriarty, a three from the wing, that doesn't go. Right there is Cravens, nice move from the three-point line to go inside and get the board. She is already well on her way to possibly a double-double. For the junior, the native of Hawaii, inside, nice feed into Eva Rubin from McKenzie. Eva Rubin. Now at the wing, on the other side, it's Jazz Shelley being double-teamed. And Eva Rubin holding her ground, that leads to a steal, Ali and I back the other way. Nye. It's good. Moriarty. Now over to Jazz Shelley. Interior passing. That's exactly how you break a zone right there. And now a minute left. Illinois down 20. The slow starts continuing to haunt them. But a nice feed inside to Bostic. And count it and one. Albeit they're down 20 points now, 17 points. Still a good development for the Illini. On the other side, a shot at the baseline is good. That's from Kendall Coley. And so now Demila Brown heading things up at the point guard position. Inside to Ruben. Ruben trying to use her height 
on Markowski and gets quite the circus shot to follow. Now gets it back at the top of the key, playing catch with Jazz Shelley. She'll take a three at the wing, and she hits once again. You know, the way she shoots the ball is, the ball went right down the basket right there. Easy three for Jazz Shelley. She'll make that all day long. Great ball movement from Malia and I. A smart play, and she gets the bucket. Not perfect ball by any means. Nearly backcourt right there as Shelley takes the three and makes the three. That's her spot. Not perfect ball by either team, but taking advantage. Markowski almost lost that one, and Shelley will regroup. Now going to drive. Nice move inside to evade Bostic. What a move by yeah, Shelley. Shelley. Creative inside with five and a half left. Nye for three. That's good. And Ali and I up to 11 point, 14 points, particularly over the last few months. Bourne has it stripped into Myla Brown, running back the other way. Another turnover for the Huskers. Brown from the free throw line. It's good. Because as the trend goes, teams tend to clean up their play as the game moves forward. Lopez trying to make something happen now and gets the bucket. Maybe a little more physical than usual, but overall it definitely was more of a flop than an offensive foul. Great swing to the far side and Ashley Scoggin with the three. You know, it's very uncharacteristic for the Atlanta to be shooting not that many threes, but... Nebraska's done a great job on their perimeter defense. On the offensive end and now gets involved on defense as well. Going inside, McKenzie and the foul. Great move by Idalia McKenzie there. If the Huskers win this, it will be her 90th win as a coach of the Cardinal Red. Ruben inside, nice hesitation move and gets the bucket. Then they kick it back out, trying to use that quick passing which they have in the first and Illinois denied them. The Atlanta got to make sure they get the possessions they want here, though. Ali and I makes Ali it an 11 now. point game. And McKenzie rushing back quickly. Anastasieska calls for it, now driving inside. Kicks it back out. Ruben, free throw line, good. Great communication between the two. And Illinois, now a nine point game. Markowski goes back in, she'll kick it back out. Shelly for three. She's been reliable, and she hits. And just like that, it's up to a 12 point lead again. The Illini. Maybe that's how Nebraska does it. Transition. Three ball, that doesn't go. Markowski with the rebound. She's got good hands inside, and she gets the bucket floor. Curious to see how this substitution, this is a big one right here. You had a little bit going for Illinois, then it was stopped as Ali and I makes the bucket. That's a player you don't want to take out. Usually they go to Markowski, but she was still trailing as Shelley takes a three and makes a three. That's a big one for Jazz Shelley. Bucket. A crowd inside and Bostic with the board. Nice pass back into Illini as she hits from the elbow. A hey, big offensive rebound there for the Illini as we've been talking about this whole game. Just under three minutes left. Illinois got to get something going. Illini driving inside, gets the bucket. Nice move to create the separation. It's now she's having herself a night. And that's exactly rather. what Nebraska does on the press. Throw it into Markowski and it pays off. 14 point lead here. You want to make sure that you don't play catch up because if you if you play catch up, teams who are down are gonna find ways to score you like Illinois did to start this quarter, but. And panic mode now for Illinois, down 16 with two minutes left. Giovanna Lopez with a nice move. 14 point lead, but time running off the clock here for Illinois. And the press cleared. Ivy will take it herself and the foul and an exclamation point for Nebraska here. Gets back into the win column here before they head back home to Lincoln to take on the Indiana Hoosiers. As for Illinois,